Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the fourth video on CSV. In the previous video, we have seen how to read a CSV file and communicate with device using the configuration in column format using CSV Reader. In this video, we will see how to use CSV Dict Reader and get the data and configure the device. This is the file which we used same file we are going to use and this time we will be using csv dict reader not reader so if you use dict reader the output what we are going to get is in a dictionary format with key value pairs so let's see how to pass that so first i'll import the library from csv import the previous video we were using reader this time we are using dict reader so with open and the file name is 02 underscore let's see yeah config in colon dot csv and we'll be doing read operation in that as csv file and same as previous script csv content equal to this time i'm using dict reader method and csv file now in this case we'll call this as four so you can see in the first video i explained this script final script here also i'm calling this as row so we'll use same here in the csv content and let us try printing the row yeah so you can see here now it is coming in the dictionary format and let me delete the previous put so you can see here this is my first IP and let us compare with this file so its configuration is terminal 0 first config is terminal 0 and second IP its first configuration third IP and again first IP its respective config and it is going in this way so you can see this is the dictionary and this has key value pairs so you can see here each row is taking as a complete dictionary and there it is adding the key value pairs so this is called now then field names so dict reader taking this as a field name so let's see here in the script below csv content what we'll do column names we'll call a variable we'll do the csv content dot field names so let's try printing that let me comment this part so you can see here here also i'm easily getting the list of ips so i can use this column names for getting the device IPs similar to the previous video and uh, the previous logic we used in the reader so we will first iterate through individual IPs so here it is column names so I'll call this for column name input 
column names and if I just print column name I'll be getting the IPs but now it is printing multiple times because it is iterating through each row but I need to create add this into a dictionary key now for that if column name not in so I'll initiate a configuration dictionary here conf dict dot keys then conf dict the column name my IP will be coming here equals an empty list now let's try printing the um, final dictionary yeah so let me just delete this print yeah, you can see here now I'm getting the IPs as the keys now we'll handle that empty fields if not column name continue yeah now it is printing the complete device IPs as a keys now we need to add the configuration so for each IP we are getting the respective configuration so now it will be easy for iterating here the same value here conf it's column name dot append so each row will have IP as a key so you can see here each row will have IP as a key right so rows column name column name is again the IP address so let's try running it you can see here now it has added everything but empty fields are there so let's handle that as well if column name not in sorry yeah if not the ROS configuration so the row of each configuration so the column name so this is the configuration we'll give continue So you can see here each of these rows are this each row will have the key as this IP that's what it meant here yeah now let's try running it can see here now it removed all the 
empty spaces now let's try printing it using pprint be same as the expected output so we'll see the SSH logic now let me copy and paste it here and I'll import parameter and time let us try running the script so you can see here all these three scripts are doing same thing but methods are different because here if you see in the case of reader I was using CSV reader and input I was giving as a raw format CSV file we got same output the dictionary output was like this conflict and in the second method again I was using CSV reader as a method but input I have given us colon and in the third method I used CSV dict reader and I have given colon as an input so if you understand these logics it will be helpful for you to uh, do any kind of configuration fetching or any different kind of csv files in different formats or different field alignments and you should be able to uh, design your own csv file and read it using these logics i hope these videos were helpful Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. In the upcoming videos, we'll see how to pass configuration using regex.